welcome to Sila. This is Sila? It looks no different from the woods we entered from. Yes, but actually, we're underground. Huh? But the sky, these trees, and the wind... Quite fascinating, isn't it? The sources have used their magic to make this place look as normal as possible. You'd never guess we're in some sort of hideout cave. This is incredible! We're here. So, what happens now? He'll come. Who? My name is Chad. Welcome to Sila. Huh, but we just met. Oh, you mean Chad? You must mean my cousin Chad, the gatekeeper on the other side. Right. I am the gatekeeper to above ground from Sila. Lady Phyllis is expecting you. Follow me. Lady Phyllis? Yes, the leader of Sila. <laughs> Okay, am I the only one who thinks this is quite strange? He has a cousin named Chad who looks just like him. Nope, you're not. But we've seen other strange things too. Yeah, you're right. Don't mention it. If you need to hop to the other side, you know where to find me. Oh yeah, if any of these boys bother you, you can come find me too. Lady Phyllis, the leader source of Sila. She's beautiful. <laughs> you might want to consider not staring too hard, Lastic. She looks like an elf princess. Is she? Is she even real? Welcome, everyone. I've been expecting you ever since I sensed your interaction with Chad. It's been a while, Lady Phyllis. Yes, it has been. It's good to see you back in Sila, Neil. Let's see. Was it about four years ago when you first set your foot in Sila? Four years sounds about right. I thought you'd be back sooner. It's not very difficult for Fate imprints to integrate each other into their lives, so... It wasn't difficult, but I guess I just wanted to take my time getting to know my source. Of course. It's nice to meet you. My name is Lastic and these are my friends. Thanks for allowing our entrance to Sila. Max, pleased to meet you. Rylan. I am Rachel, Rylan's sister. Please call me Phyllis. I am sure you heard briefly about Sela from Neil already, but if any of you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. Everyone in Sela would be glad to help you. Quite honestly, we're excited to have new visitors. We don't get many visitors here for <laughs> obvious reasons. There's an empty building to the south of the village. Please make yourself at home and like I said, Please don't hesitate to ask me for help if you need anything. Thank you. Are you coming? You guys go on. I need to ask Lady Phyllis something. Would you like me to wait outside? I don't mind. That's nice of you, but it's okay. If I get lost, I'll ask the villagers here. Uh, sure. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'll see you there then. Lady Phyllis. Yes, Lastic. Did you have a question? Um, uh, well, I have many, but um, I have an urgent one if you have time. Of course. My friends and I, um, actually more like Neil and I, need your help. Is it something to do with Neil being a runaway? You knew. Yes, he told me of his situation when he initially arrived in Sila four years ago. I see. Well, his cover was blown because of a mistake I made and he was captured by the knights. 
He transferred his magic to me before he was taken away, but now that we have freed him, I don't know how to give his magic back to him. I knew something felt different about Neil this time. It must be because he isn't in possession of his magic. Can you transfer his magic back to him? Me? I can't. But you can. I couldn't. Have you imprinted with Neil yet? No. I know he's supposed to be my fate imprint. Isn't that good enough? If you want to leave it at that, sure. But to finalize the energy bond between imprints, you need to go through a sacred ceremony. If I imprint with Neil, will I be able to give his magic back? Yes, that's one easy solution. It would seal the energy bond between you two to make it easier for you to give his magic back or grant other powers you wish to give to him in future. But if you want to grant powers to people other than your imprints, like for example your friend Max, that would be a different story. I'm sorry, but I don't understand what you mean by that. It's easier for a source to take away powers from others, but to grant it, your inner magic self must be strong enough. When you're so used to bottling your emotions, fears, and thoughts, you can lose touch with your inner magic self. May I ask, how much you know about your magical side? Um, well, I don't know much. I didn't know I was a source until Neil told me. I turned a classmate into a guinea pig once, stopped time a couple of times, and... Wait, what did you say? I didn't mean to turn my classmate into a guinea pig. I didn't mean any harm, it was just an accident. No, not that. Did you say you stopped... time? Yes, I didn't mean both times and nobody got hurt in the process, so, um... Oh, am I in trouble? Who knows about your power? I think just my friends. Can you trust them? Yes, I trust them. Good. Let's keep that amongst us for now. Lastic, you might be a very gifted source. Um, thank you. Do you need help with the preparation for the imprinting ceremony? I'm not sure. I would love to give Neil's magic back, but I don't know how Neil feels about sealing the bond. What about your other friend? Rylan, was it? You knew. I don't have as clear reads as Chad does, but I can sense a bit of people's core. I sensed Rylan's connection. Maybe it's something you three should talk about? If you need help with preparation, I'd be happy to offer my assistance. Thank you, Lady Phyllis. Excuse me, I'm looking for the guest house? Excuse me? Where the guest house is? Huh. Okay. South. South? Wait. Is that Rylan? Are you alright, Rylan? Yup. Hey. Um. I know it was hard for you to deal with losing your grandmother. If you ever need to talk to someone, I am. Mind your own business. Weren't you going somewhere? Well, I was heading to the guest building, but then I saw you, so... Look, Orangehead, maybe I should be blunter. I am not in the mood to talk. If you need someone to chat with, maybe you should find that young master of Korra. He has a name, you know? Max. <laughs> Whatever. I know you didn't come here voluntarily, and I don't want to force you to be here if you aren't happy. I am not leaving my sister. I know. And... I like that you care so much about your family. Huh? Uh... Gosh, what do I need to do to get some time alone here? Don't you dare follow me, Orange Head! Ryland! Oh, I was kind of hoping that he would show me the guest house, but... This looks interesting. Hmm... I think it's taking me to the top of the mountain. <gasps> this is beautiful! Oh my gosh, I can see whole Sila! This is so awesome!
Somehow I knew you'd get lost. At least you found the best view of Sila. Neil, do you see this? This is amazing! I can see the whole village of Sila from here. Yes, I do. Looks peaceful, doesn't it? It really does. Huh. Hmm. What's wrong? It just... All of the sources I've encountered in Sila today seemed very nice. Things might have been different and the sources might have been a threat then, but I don't think these people deserve to live in a hideout. You're right. But some... They just choose to stay here. And to most of them, Sila is everything they know of. Generations have changed. And all sources were born here. I heard some sources tried leaving out of curiosity, but they always end up returning to Sila. The only outsiders living in Sila are fate imprints of sources who were drawn here, kind of like how I first found Sila. If all sources were born here, do you think I was born here too? Do you think my parents might be here? I guess it's possible. Hey, I never told you, but I am also alone. You're an orphan too? No, I lost them. I am so sorry to hear that. It's okay. I have accepted it now. My family had a long history of a strong line of blades in Kura, along with DeSalle's. You know about DeSalle's, right? Max's family? Yes, and Max is the young master of Kura. So he didn't tell you that before arriving in Kura. <laughs> Typical Max. He never really liked that title. I can't say I understand completely, but I can only imagine how much of burden that title must have been for him. Him being the young master of Korra did surprise me, but Max is Max. I like him because he is him. <laughs> you should tell him that. I would be interested in seeing his reaction. Huh. I thought I already did. Was it like that for you too then? With expectations and burdens? Yes, but no. My family, Rowan, served DeSalle's and Cora for generations, so what was expected of me was different. My father was the captain of Cora's Blades, and everyone looked up to him. He was also a close friend to the master of Cora, Max's father. When both Max and I were born, both fathers wanted the same kind of relationship for us too, to be close friends and protect Cora together. Max told me you were his best friend. We were. We hated each other's guts in the beginning, though. It's a long story, but to make it short, I didn't like that my path was already planned around this boy. Then with him running away from his young master duties all the time, I constantly had to chase him down, and I didn't enjoy that one bit. We eventually became good friends, but now we have a lot to catch up on. While I was attending Blades Academy, Kor's border was extended, and to accommodate the larger area, they needed more bloodstones to cast barrier magic. My father and a team of blades set out to find more bloodstones. Since bloodstones are rare, they knew it was going to take a while. But it was different that time. The group didn't return for a long while. Months later, when they did, some were dead, and my father was badly injured. Though Master de Salles said otherwise, the family of the deceased blades blamed my father for his lack of leadership as captain, saying he caused their loved one's deaths. That's so horrible. He might have dealt with it better if he wasn't so weakened. But with my father so badly injured inside and outside, he didn't take the situation well. People said he went mad, murmuring something about the powers of bloodstones constantly. A few weeks later, he passed away. Then my mother became ill as well. You could say she became ill with a saddened heart upon losing my father. Soon, my mother was found passed away next to my father's grave. I'm so sorry, Neil. I can't believe your family went through such a thing. The hardest part for me was that I was away at Blades Academy the whole time. I had no idea what was happening. The message was delivered to Blades Academy during a faculty meeting. Apparently, a diviner instructor was not present at the time, but they hadn't realized it. So the message wasn't delivered to me until it was too late. I did things that went against the rules in anger. And not long after that, I ran away. <laughs> Stop tearing up, Lastic. Your eyes will get puffy, and you wouldn't look cute. I'm fine now. I'd be lying if it said it doesn't pain me, but like I said, I've accepted it. Besides, 
I've found a new family. A new one? Yes, you. I don't feel alone when I'm with you. Probably because your clumsiness keeps me way too busy to think of other things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I can at least do that. Like that. Wait, are those more sweets? <laughs> yup! I found a sweet store run by a granny who is too old to stop a bird from stealing. <laughs> there you go, always wasting your power on something as dumb as stealing sweets from an old woman. Don't judge! I know you shapeshift to steal things too! Hold on! Don't even think about stealing my sweets from me! I will peck and scratch you to death! Not interested! Take your stupid sweets and get out! Ugh. Hey! Is that a hair tie? So shiny! Leave it alone! What will you do with it? Tie up your bangs? I was hoping Lucian might let me braid his hair. <laughs> You're so foolish if you think I'll let you now! Didn't he decline before and zap you with lightning when you insisted? Get out! Ah! Oh, wait! Ooh, forgot to tell you about the water bucket! <laughs> now, why are you always so mean to me? You could have told me that the water bucket was there! Quiet! Why did you do it? Now, Quiet! Natural... He started it! <laughs> yeah, right! Who barged into my room first? I swear, if you guys keep embarrassing me in front of these peasant lowlife no powers and knights, I will just feed you to the next magical creature I find! Sorry. Hey, Lucian, did you find any other bloodstones? I can't believe how disappointing these bloodstones in Korra have been. The only non-overlapping power I got from this trip is bubble creation. Seriously, where am I supposed to use this stupid thing? What do you expect from bloodstones with powers extracted from low-life knights? I certainly wasn't expecting bubbles. I located Korra's vault. Turns out their master is currently out of town. That's perfect. We pay a visit to our bloodstones tomorrow. Ooh! This is exciting! <laughs>